Hey everyone, Zef here, and welcome to the 7th guest overview. I guess we are slowly entering into the Halloween period, which is kind of interesting for this year, because last year I clearly remember there was literally nothing that was related to that holiday. It's fine by me, because less horror is more fun, but I guess at least once in a year we could get into the spirit of this thing. <laughs> so the seventh guest is an adventure narration puzzle game where six not so random people are invited to the mansion out of nowhere to uncover its dark and mysterious secrets in the meantime being constantly haunted by the environment. There's really not that much to talk about because it always depends on the personal taste in storyline and the vibe you're going into it. As a mystery puzzle genre it does a pretty good job inviting you and indulging in whatever situation is going on. With the technical stuff, the graphics level are rather adequate for the platform. We're now on Quest 3, so I feel like they could be a little bit better. Puzzles are cute, not that hard to understand in the beginning, so everyone can get into it. It uses very interesting mechanics in terms of the actual guests and their presentation. Some sort of a holographic, real-time 3D people and actors that play out the role and scenes of the actual storyline. Are they something more besides the narration? I'm not quite sure because I didn't reach anything that was beyond that, but they really add up to the immersion and the haunted house. Overall, I would say it was a fairly decent experience, not that much to really pick on. For puzzle enthusiasts, I think this should be a no-brainer, though for me, I don't think it will continue, but it's just purely because there's just so much to do nowadays. Let's visit the haunted house. Oh my god, start the same as Walking Dead, the hell? Yeah, I know, thank you. I mean, actually this is the first time I'm gonna be rowing in VR, I think. I mean, it's not necessarily accurate, because with one side we should be turning. It's always a question if something is a horror game or not, like, I'm always confused. <laughs> each other what do I do here even do you see your lantern take it What is this switchcraft? Exclusive soiree <laughs> at Stoff Mansion. Soiree? French Pennsylvania or something? I don't even know what Pennsylvania is though. <laughs> Your lantern brings back objects from the past and even fixes them. It makes the house remember how it used to be. Oh. Okay, that's kind of interesting, actually. <laughs> Is it permanent, though? I mean, so far the graphics aren't crazy. They're very adequate for, like, the quest platform, but we are now on quest 3, so... I'm gonna have to start be seeing some better quality things in the future. The gate is missing something. A key in the other mouth?
Ew. I heard some snake, but... What? I love being stuck in the first moments of the game, like that's always cool to experience. Interesting. Old man Stauff built a house and filled it with his toys. Wow, I'm really small. Six guests came one night. Their screams the only noise. Crepe. Which is perfect for Halloween. <laughs> I mean, it looks completely different in the trailers. I'm not quite sure if it has the PC VR version though. This looks a bit better. The toy maker's house. I, I need to remember what happened. I remember his voice playing on a record. There should be a gramophone here, right in the foyer. You brought it back, back from that evil night. Ah, oh, wait a minute. Am I a ghost or something? Welcome to my house. I'm so pleased to see you all answered my invitation. And tonight promises to be a night full of surprises. Solve my puzzles and perhaps you'll walk out of here with your heart's most secret desire. Do leave your luggage in the foyer for now as I have prepared a warm welcome for you all in the dining room. I remain your humble host, Henry Stout. This house is filled with memories. If you find them, we can learn what happened. I I'll show you. You just have to stand in the right place and look. But who am I? The right place. I mean, it's okay for some kind of standards we have, but... I'm not quite sure if it's a physics game or anything of the sort, so... It definitely could have been better. Where am I even going? Well, the dining room is normally on the ground floor. Edward? Uh-huh. We're so far from everything. And what about the rumors? Eleanor, they're just that. They're rumors. Okay? Now shape up, we need to make a good first impression. 
Stauf has spent his fortune wisely. Never mind the smell. A bit dreary in here, don't you think? Martine, burden. Maybe you've seen me on Broadway. Regrettably not. Brian Dutton, you're on business. Hmm? A colleague of Mr. Stout's. That must be nice. I've never met the man, though I am intrigued by his success. Hmm. Hello? How rude. Hamilton Temple. <laughs> Illusionist extraordinaire. Julia Hine of the Hine Hotel. I don't suppose you know the toy maker either, do you? No. But I heard he was run out of town. What did happen to the chief? Oh, piss posh. Where's the dining room? I'm starving. Uh, a premonition. Ah, uh, spirit dictates it's this way, my queen. If you say so, magic man. Well, that's an interesting bunch. <laughs> like the presentation is very different. It's like a projection, but using real people and then layering them with, I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. Like they're there, but not there, but also there are some weird small movements in between the their movements <laughs> so I'm assuming we have an inventory I don't know what I do That's a nice dish. <laughs> Staff's not joining us for dinner. I guess our host wants us to fend for ourselves. Great. Is there anything to drink? I love this mechanic though. Repairing things. There's some pattern, but... I didn't see it for what? Ah, the contrast is different as well. So this kind of like bringing things from the past. Two different kinds of textures. <laughs> Maybe that's why it doesn't look like amazingly pretty. Because it's buffering towards the same time. It's a labyrinth, but... Okay, I see. One plate is different. Oh, a map. Look, you can see the available rooms, and it even can give hints. It can even solve puzzles for you if you're stuck. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. <laughs> So 
So we have like hands and stuff. Some sort of a tablet. Something was inside? I know that was a plate. things in your life difficult too, like matching socks or forming sentences. Yeah, I know it's about uh, the same pictures, but are they different from different rows? Maybe it's just the same shape as well. Okay, well that was a hint. Okay. It's a specific order. Child, fish, I don't know, donkey and bird. But it needs to be in the same row. Oh, I damn think it. We need to select groups of four. Yeah, thank you. Or be in the same row. Aligning. It changed now. This very much feels like the room. Should be this. I need to finish soon, so I'll try to hurry. But I thought I figured it out. Two cocks. <laughs> First was fish, always. I think we got it. Before finishing the video. Wait, what? <laughs> There's only one left. Oh, that is stupid. <laughs> I guess it's not a correct order. I don't want to press the top button to reset it. Ah, whatever. <laughs> I mean, so far it's 
intriguing, to say the least. There is some interesting stuff going on with the VR itself, with the holograms themselves and then the lantern mechanics revealing what was in the past. I do wish the textures would be a little bit better because we are now on the next generation. There's no really excuse. Maybe it's also because it needs to process both worlds at the same time. So far the puzzles are cute. I almost finished the last one. I find it to be in an adequate level for me to enjoy because I remember for example in the room VR it was really a struggle even in the beginning so this seems to be more appropriate. There is some creepy vibe going on but I don't think this is a horror game because it doesn't seem like it. It's just the theme going on but I think it's just at heart puzzle adventurer. He was a foundling, forced to grow up in a grim and grimy orphanage. A quiet child, without any friends. So he made his own. Yeah, but overall it's very decent. I don't know if I'll continue this because there's just so much stuff to do nowadays. For puzzles enthusiasts, I think it's gonna be pretty fun. See, like, the environment is challenging depending on the lantern. And she's dead now, so um, I'm out of here. <laughs>